Good morning. Hi, my name is Chris, uh, and I'm a core engineer at Blockstream, working at the Lightning team. Uh, and I'm really excited today to talk to you about a project I've been working on for the last couple of months, years. Well, um, uh, these are not my slides. <laughs> but let's get started anyway without the slides. Um, so as I said, I'm, uh, I'm working at, uh, on the Lightning team at Blockstream. And Lightning isn't the easiest topic to talk about. So just to, just to get the temperature of the room, how many people are using Lightning right now? OK. How many of you are using a non-custodial wallet? Fewer. How many of you don't even know if it's custodial or non-custodial? That's also an option. OK. Of those who are using custodial wallets, uh, non-custodial wallets, how easy was it to set up? Did you have any trouble? Raise your hand if it was easy peasy and you did not have any issues whatsoever. OK. OK. Still quite a few Lightning experts in the room. Um, so when a user joins the Lightning Network, we, uh, the first question they get asked is non-custodial or custodial? Well, many people actually choose to go custodial first because, well, they're new to Lightning and, uh, and they still have a long way to go for, uh, for, Lightning to, uh, for them to learn all of the intricacies of Lightning. Um, if only I could have my slides. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, the, uh, so non-custodial setups are what we want users to use, right? They have maximum privacy, they have maximum security, and we have a trist minimized solution. Problem is, they come with a lot of technical details you as a user have to learn before you, uh, you can use it efficiently. That's why many users choose to go for a custodial solution, right? It's an easy setup. The user experience is excellent, and, well, you, uh, you couldn't do any better. The same goes for developers as well. We often choose to integrate with custodial wallets simply because they provide us with an API. Um, however, these custodial solutions come, uh, come with the downside of actually having to trust a third party. So they're not trust minimized. They are tr uh, very much trusted setups. And you, uh, uh, and you also lose the privacy. So at Blockstream, we talked to a lot of developers. And one of the recurring themes that came up over and over and over again was, is there a way to make uh, integrating with Lightning easier, onboarding users easier into Lightning and Bitcoin? but without compromising on the security of, uh, uh, and privacy of, uh, uh, that, that are possible with Lightning? And the answer is yes. We found a solution where we can offer users uh, a system that is both trust-minimized, non-custodial, hosted, and easy to integrate. And this system is called Greenlight. This is the project I have been working on for the last couple of, uh, couple of months, together with an excellent team, some of, we, uh, some of whom are present today. And this system is a hosted, non-custodial Lightning node as a service. So you as, oh, perfect. Let me skip ahead to the. This was the slide I was looking for. So Blockstream Greenlight is a Lightning Node as a service offering by Blockstream that allows you as user or developer to spin up a Lightning Node on demand in a matter of seconds. As developers, you can integrate with the, uh, with the Lightning Node as if it were just another API you were calling making it very, very easy for you to integrate with Lightning. So
So what we have here is the best of both worlds, right? The users are in full and exclusive control over all of their funds. And at the same time, it's a hosted solution freeing developers from having to bundle a lightning node with their own application, learn about their, uh, uh, how to automate the lightning node. And as so often happens, not, le uh, not sort of throw the application over the wall, give it to the users, and then we don't, uh, we don't help them anymore, leaving the users stranded. So some of you may ask, so how can we have a hosted solution that is non-custodial? After all, if the node is running on Blockstream servers, how can it, uh, can it be that the user is still in full and exclusive control. And this is the core innovation we brought to the table with Greenlight, is a rethinking of how Lightning nodes are set up, how Lightning nodes are operated, and how Lightning nodes are managed. The end-to-end -end verification that we implemented ensures that whatever happens with your funds, you will have to sign off on it. You will independently verify that it actually matches your intent, and only if it does, it, uh, you will sign off on it. And this works relatively easy. So we split the node in three parts. We have a client. Think of it like your phone, essentially running an app. You have the node in the middle. This part is running on the, uh, on the Blockstream servers. And on the right-hand side, we have the signers. The signers are essentially just a wallet that is running on your device. It is the only part in the entire system that will ever touch your keys. And when you want to, for example, pay an invoice, what happens is that the client on the left-hand side has an identity. It, will, it, it is in your hands as a user. And you, as a user, will initiate an operation with those funds. It will, uh, it will then call the node, which is running on our infrastructure. The node will take that command. It will verify it is from somebody who is authorized to, to uh, perform this operation. And it will compute the state changes it needs. If those state changes touch any of your funds, well, then we need to have a signature from the signer, because remember, we don't have the keys. So what we do is we send the request bundled with the entire context to the signer, and the signer can independently verify, yes, this is Christian who wanted to perform this payment, and yes, we have the funds, and yes, the node actually computed correctly that we subtract some funds here and we add them here. And this is the core innovation of, uh, of Greenlight, making it possible by splitting a node apart to run in a non-custodial setup the, uh, and having us help developers by providing an API, help developers by helping them debug their applications, and take the user by the hand and guiding them through the setup, through the onboarding process. Because so far, our approach at onboarding users has been relatively backwards, right? We've told, uh, we've told new users, hey, you have to learn about Bitcoin. You have to learn about Lightning. It's a very complex system. And only then are you allowed to, to, uh, to reap the benefits of using Lightning. Not with us. With us, you sign up in a matter of seconds. Your nodes are running in a matter of seconds. And you can immediately see how easy it is to use Lightning. And once you've learned, now is the time to upgrade your experience and learn about Lightning and offboard into your own infrastructure, which is an option we offer. So the announcement today is Greenlight is basically open for business. Right now, you can go to greenlight.blockstream.com sign up for, uh, for the developer console. And inside of the developer console, you can download the certificates you need to access and create nodes on the system. We are calling on developers and companies wanting to integrate with Lightning, whether they're small individual hackers just wanting to build a hobbyist project to 
small to medium businesses wanting to build the next big app integrated with Lightning and uh, wanting to start onboarding users, getting out there, developing your dream application without the overhead of learn, uh, having to learn Lightning. We are still working on the pricing model, but what is important for us right now is that we have a very, very generous free tier that we want to extend to all people who sign up right now. When signing up, you get a certificate that allows you to, uh, to register up to 1,000 nodes. This is more than sufficient for even the most, uh, the most prolific hacker, uh, hacker and uh, should be sufficient for small to medium businesses in the short term. If your needs exceed these 1,000 nodes, please come to talk to us. We're, uh, we, uh, we're very interested in learning what you are looking for, what your requirements are, and we will make sure that your needs are served. So in a place, uh, in a world where convenience often comes at the expense of security, Greenlight is a new point in this trade-off. Greenlight provides us with both security because the, uh, the user is in a full and, uh, full and exclusive control of their funds and convenience because we Blockstream run the infrastructure, run all of the difficult parts. We run the databases, we run the nodes, we run the watchtowers. You don't have to worry about anything. Speaking of community, uh, we are working with a validating lightning signer project. Uh, this is a project that has independently built a signer, and this is the basis for our signer. Uh, in, con uh, in conjunction with the VLS team, we are also working on building out uh, uh, support for hardware wallets for Lightning. So this is a big feature many people have asked for is, hey, I'd like to upgrade my security by not having keys lying around on phones and, uh, and, and laptops. I would, I would like to have hardware wallets. And the Validating Lightning Signer team and the Greenlight team are co collaborating really closely to make that a reality. So this is your invitation. Join us today in building the next chapter of the Lightning Network. Greenlight is your first step to, uh, to getting your users, getting your app on the Lightning Network and, uh, uh, and, uh, and empowering new users for financial independence. This is a QR code that will lead you to greenlight.blockstream.com. It might not work on every camera, I'm being told. <laughs> so, uh, but you might, you might wonder, why is it called Greenlight? Well, because initially we just wanted to enable uh, uh, the green wallet, also by Blockstream, to integrate with Lightning in an easy and usable fashion. But we found that it, uh, it is indeed so easy to integrate that it would be a shame not to share this innovation with all of you guys. And so Greenlight was born as, as an individual project. With the help of Greenlight, the green team was able, in a matter of, of a couple of months, just by adding our client library into their, into their application to add Lightning support very easily. And, uh, uh, and Blockstream Green Lightning will come out of beta soon, and, but more on that later on. But it's not just our apps. Like I said, we are looking to empower all, uh, all developers to make use of the Lightning Network to get reap the benefits of, the, uh, of Lightning. And so one of our other partners that, uh, that we are working very closely together is Breeze. Breeze is one of the most popular non-custodial wallets. So far, they bundled the nodes with their, uh, with their wallet itself. The downside of that is that to do so, you actually have to be a Lightning expert. You have to know how to automate all of, these, uh, uh, all of the functionality. And so they decided to switch to Greenlight because we can take on much of that management, much of that infrastructure cost for them. And all they have had to do was use our client library to talk to our servers. On top of that, 
on top of the Breeze wallet migrating to Greenlight, they, uh, they are also building out the Breeze SDK. The Breeze SDK wraps our client library and adds features such as LSP support, such as LNURL and swaps. Uh, all very important things that are very accessible thanks to their, uh, to their API, which if you use, you're actually using green light underneath the covers. So join the green closed beta for, uh, for the lightning support. These are the QR codes you need to get, uh, you, uh, you need to get the app. Um, tell us what you think. And please, give us a try. I promise you, we're very friendly. Thank you very much. This has been all, uh, my presentation. I'm afraid we don't really have time for questions, but I will be around in the hallway track. So hit me up, and I'll answer any question you might have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miami, for the last three years in this amazing city. The whole world shut down, but Miami welcomed us with open arms. We want to show Bitcoin to the whole world. We are taking the conference on the road to set the stage for Bitcoin in a new city. Nashville. Bitcoin 2024 is coming to Nashville in Tennessee, a city that is known as a music and freedom city. Bitcoin 2024 in Nashville from July 25th to 27th.